I'm back with another Front Row Talk podcast, the podcast with expensive opinions. This is episode 127. Before I start, make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share this video. Check the description down below where I have my link for my Instagram and TikTok. Currently music playing in the back, so if you hear it, that's, that's what you're listening to. I don't think you guys can really hear it, though. But, um, back another week, thank God. Uh, episode 127. Last week was episode 126. I talked about the week one of the NFL. Um, I gave my predictions. That was on Wednesday, Thursday. So a couple of days. I think Wednesday. And then Thursday that season started. So uh, this time around, I'm going to give my week two predictions. I think, um, you know, I'm going to give my thoughts on who I think is going to win. And also, I'm going to talk about music. Uh, The music industry has been a lot going on. I'm glad I kind of waited. one more week, you know, to get at the music. Last week, it wasn't really much to talk about compared to this week. So, it might be a long podcast episode, but stay stay in tune. Let me stay watching so you can see what I'm going to talk about. But just skip over to see when I start talking about the music. But let me give my predictions and let's get straight to it. So, by far, I give my week two predictions. I just want to talk about week one game. Not all of them. It's too much. Um, from the top of my head, uh, I think... Texans won, I think so, I'm not mistaken, but the Jets lost, 49ers won, but the game that, to me, the craziest game, the craziest game gotta be that Chiefs-Ravens game, especially for me as a Raven fan and all those Ravens fans out there, and even for the Chiefs, it was, for Chiefs fans, it was a crazy game, Um, I mean, if you saw the game, you know what I'm talking about, it was not back and forth, but uh, the Chiefs maintained the lead for a good while. I think it was 27 to 20 and then fourth quarter i think like last couple of seconds last drive lamar throws it a likely by the way he likely had an amazing game i think he had like 111 yards a couple of receptions but lamar throws it but before i get to that lamar had two open passes but he didn't make the right pass some people was arguing that uh zay flowers wasn't in the right spot some people said that uh lamar threw it back to bateman or flowers whichever one of the two he threw it two behind but the throw everybody was talking about he threw it to likely in the um, end zone for the touchdown 27 to 20 had they scored that touchdown it would have been 26 27 they would have either went overtime or try to go for two which they were trying to go for two but didn't happen because it was didn't you know it wasn't a score but he throws it a likely likely catches it and his tippy toe, like it was that KD moment. I mean, if you saw it, it was all over social media. It was literally touching the out of out of like the out line, out of bounds line, um, out the field, whatever you want to call it. He was out though, like by a little little bit. Had he been a, a shoe size smaller, it would have counted. Um, Lamar was standing ten toes that it was a touchdown, but I I don't think it was. I mean, and I'm a Ravens fan. I don't think it was a touchdown. It was crazy though because i seen it live and i was just i just had the craziest react craziest reaction um and before that likely was almost injured thank god he wasn't and then for him to go out like a play or two and come back do that and then you know it, it's kind of it kind of sucks um but i mean that was a really good game had we scored and it would have been 26 27 had we went for two i know we would have called Derek henry in Derrick Henry would have most likely got us a touchdown. But then again, Chiefs have really good defense. So, I, mean, I guess we'll never know. Um, we'll just have to see how the Ravens, you know, answer back against the Raiders for week two. And yeah. But let me get to my week two predictions. Um, let's see. So, we have, oh, today, uh, Bills and Dolphins play. That's interesting. Um, damn. I, I give it to the Dolphins. I give it to the Dolphins. I don't know how the Bills are going to be this year. Shout out Josh Allen, though. Oh, by the way, yeah. Um, uh, I was about to say Lamar. Um, Dolphins went crazy. Tyreek Hill, that celebration was pretty funny before the game. I don't know if you guys seen that. He got, like, you know, uh, the team. He got stopped by the police. And they had to put him in handcuffs, handcuffs and stuff like that. He's getting arrested. And um, he, 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 he scored in the game. And he had his teammate, like, kind of, you know, redo the whole situation that happened. Kind of, you know, making fun of the cops or whatever. 
But we got Dolphins and Bills. I give it to the Dolphins. We have 49ers and Vikings. I give it to the 49ers. Seahawks, Patriots. Uh, I give it to Seahawks, Giants, Commanders. Damn, I don't know because the Giants lost pretty bad. But I give it to the Giants. They put lost pretty bad week one. Um, Chargers, Panthers. I give it to the Chargers. Cowboys, Saints. I give it to the Cowboys. Packers, Colts. I think Jordan Love is injured. He got injured. That's that sucks. I might give it to the Colts. Jaguars, Browns. Mm, I give it to the Browns. I think that's yeah, Browns. I think that's where Caleb Williams is at, if I'm not mistaken. Jets, Titans. I do think Jets will win game two. I mean week two. Um, Aaron Rodgers will definitely probably beat the Titans. Lions, Buccaneers. That's a pretty good game. Mayfield playing 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 pretty good. Golf should be. That's I definitely got to tune into that game. I give it to the Lions though. I think the Lions will win that game. Ravens, Raiders, I think the Ravens will win. Rams and Cardinals, I give it to the Rams. Bengals, Chiefs, that's tough. Bengals, Chiefs, it should be a goodie. Um, I think, damn. Damn, that's tough. Because a lot of people think that the the, the, the Bengals going to be really, really good this year. I don't know if they have a rivalry rivalry going on, the Bengals and the Chiefs. Um, damn. I give it to the Bengals. I think the Bengals will probably win. If Chiefs win, that's tough too. As as in like that's I feel like it's gonna be a, a a tough game for both teams. Both good teams. Yeah. But shout out Worthy though, the, the rookie from the Chiefs. He had two touchdowns. That dude is super duper fast. <clears throat> That's why I'm trying. I'm trying to put in like Chiefs got Worthy and 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 um, what's his name? He didn't even have that much of a good game. The tight end from the Chiefs. I do not know why the names be. Not Travis Kelsey. There you go. I don't know why I be forgetting the names. I give it to the Bengals though. I think the Bengals will win. I think the Bengals may win. Steelers, Broncos, uh, Steelers. Even though Broncos got good defense. Bears, Texans, I give it to the Texans. Eagles, Falcons, I give it to the Falcons. Um, that's my week two predictions. Um, such a pretty long episode this week, which is why I'm not really going into no reason why I think any team is going to win or not. Um, I'll probably do that for the upcoming weeks. But that Bengals-Chiefs game, I got to tune into that. I think, I think um, the Bengals is going to win. I think the Bengals might win that game. Um, Travis Kelsey is going to have a better game than what he had week one. Um, definitely going to get the ball a bit more. It was week one. A lot more football to go. Um, but I got to see how, how the Bengals start looking. Especially with the quarterback Joe Burrow, how he comes back. We shall see. But let's get started. Um, talk about the music now. What's been going on. And yeah. Alright, so last time I talked about any type of music. Uh, basically, the, the most talked about thing that's been going on which is which is why I, I, I heavily stood on the fact that 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 Drake and Kendrick beef wasn't over uh, I, I tweeted this a couple months back let me see and I don't really tweet a lot but I tweeted it let me see I remember tweeting the full breakdown May 11th of the beef um, I don't know if I tweeted about it Continuing or not? Oh, I did. I did. The beef isn't over. May 11th. And it is currently September 12th. So June, July, August, September. Four months later, literally, yesterday would have been exactly four months. Four months later, and we're still going on with this beef. Some beefs are for years. I mean, especially I feel like now I might drag out a little longer. Last time I talked about the beef was. The episode before last, I think episode 120, hold on, give me a second, let me look for it. Episode 125, uh, I was talking about the plot to his IG page, hinting new music. Uh, a lot of you guys kind of engaged with that video. So, yeah, um, what's happened since then? Um, I don't think I talked about, yeah, I didn't talk about the no face drop. I didn't talk about circadian rhythm, SOD. So those were three new songs 
that Drake dropped. I don't think I talked about it. If I did, whatever, I'm gonna repeat it again. Uh, those are three new songs Drake dropped in the plot twist page, which is a Finster, whatever you want to call it. But we know it has it's Drake related. We don't know if it's him running the page. <clears throat> we don't know if it's people who he's around running the page. His guys, whatever the case may be. Um, but those three songs, No Face, Circadian Rhythm, and SOD dropped. This dropped while I was on vacation, so I couldn't get on the podcast and talk about it. Um, I do like all three songs. But the songs I most likely go back to gotta be No Face and Circadian Rhythm. Circadian, Circadian Rhythm, the beat is super duper tough. Uh, Gordo produced it, same guy who produced um, uh, the Honestly Nevermind album from Drake and, uh, another other, and a other couple songs. Um, and No Face, it did have Cardi on it, like the unreleased version. It seems like Cardi didn't, you know, um, follow through or didn't, you know, clear. Um, his his part, which is kind of a couple of words, repeating a couple of words, even though I made the song really really good, but um, that uh, song No Face, it came out on um, on Apple Music DSPs, but it didn't have Cardi. A lot of people were saying that it's because Cardi really chose a side. He doesn't really mess with Drake, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know if that's exactly 100% why, because Cardi doesn't really clear things, but. It could probably indicate that, you know, he's not, you know, he chose his side or he just didn't really care for, you know, himself being on that song. You could come up with your own conclusion because Cardi's, he's not really clear about certain things. You don't really hear him clear stuff out, I guess you could say. You just wait till he does something and that's it. By the way, I think he's dropping a song at 9.30, um, about like an hour or so. Um, so... He's also rolling out his album. So was the weekend. People are speculating that Kendrick is also um about to drop an album. Um so it's a lot going on. I'm trying to get everything to uh you know that's been going on. So yeah. So those three songs drop. Um it gets a lot of engagement. People are reacting to it. Of course you still got the Drake haters saying that it's bad. Um that that's happening, that's happening. But what really shook up everything is the fact that, you know, Kendrick announced that he will be uh, the Super Bowl halftime performer for the 2025 Super Bowl NFL. Um, and I was pretty surprised, not more so because it's him, but because, because it was announced so early. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we probably don't get an announcement until like week four, five, or six of the NFL. I might be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I never really recall somebody announcing week one. Um, and I mean, it could be for a lot of reasons. It could be because there's a lot of people behind Kendrick trying to push him, trying to take over Drake, which is what I personally believe. Um, I feel like they're trying to make him number one over Drake for many reasons. It could be things that we don't know happen behind closed doors, behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of hatred against Drake. For him being number one for so long, probably him messing with a couple people's girls or whatever the case may be. Um, money situations, hatred, jealousy. I mean, that's all I could really come up with. Um, probably not sending a verse over. Or just, it's just so much people that are against him. Um, and it's not him even trying to have him play victim. It's because it's so clear. Um, I mean, Jay-Z is behind Kendrick, Rihanna, The Weeknd, a whole bunch of people, the whole... I wouldn't say the whole West Coast, but a bunch of artists from the West Coast. Um, yeah, I mean, you could throw Cardi over there, the whole TDE camp. Um, so it's like a lot going, a lot of people going go, going against Drake. But what really shook it up is that it's taking place in New Orleans. That's hometown for Lil Wayne, hip hop legend. For some people, the best rapper ever, alive ever. Um, clearly for Drake. And Nicki, gotta be the best rapper ever. I mean, more than just the best rapper. He opened doors for them when it was coming up um, early in their career. And, um, I mean, for the whole rap industry, there's a lot of people who respect who Lil Wayne is, what he has done, the trends he started, you know, all of that. And they just felt like Kendrick was kind of forced to be there. Out of pettiness, because if you don't know, Jay-Z is the one who, or his camp is the one who chooses you know, who will be halftime performers. Of course, probably other opinions or other 
um, people have an opinion towards that. But I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, from what I heard, he's the one that makes the final decision. Um, there's been reports saying that he's not or it's not just him. But if you ask me, that's just to clear up his image a bit since, you know, this this decision and this announcement really got the culture, hip-hop or whatever, um, you know, riled up. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people felt disrespected and they felt like, you know, they, it kind of felt forced. A lot of people genuinely just don't want Kendrick. A lot of people just felt like um, Little Wayne should have been better. Um, and not because Kendrick sucks or because Kendrick is a nobody. Because we all know Kendrick is a really good rapper. He, I mean, he's been in the game for a long time. But just because Jay-Z doesn't really have, you know, anything like... What's the word? Jay-Z probably does have some hatred for Drake. And then Jay-Z's Kendrick is cool. You know, Jay-Z puts Kendrick in there to be petty for Drake. Supposedly, Drake has been offered the halftime show for the Super Bowl a couple years. Probably, I think, four years was the number. Um, and he just would turn it down. Could be true. Could not. Um, we know Drake is probably not the most... Uh, he, he's anti-industry. That's the word. Uh, he doesn't really, I mean, there's been rumors from academics and all of that. He doesn't really do the whole industry meeting or la label meetings when he's dropping the album. He moves on his own time. And I feel like that's why the industry labels are going against him. Executives, whatever, whoever you want to call it. Um, because he just moves on his own time and he successful with it. Had he not been that successful with it, people would have looked at him as a nobody. They probably would have said, it would have, it's not working and, uh, you know, good for him. But because he's doing what he's doing for so long and he's not going, you know, by the rules or how everybody else wants to paint it and it's going good for him, people fell away. So um, there's a lot of different theories, a lot of different um, reasons why this beef has been. But people are starting to realize that the beef is more so between Jay-Z and Drake and that Kendrick could probably be the puppet in front of Jay-Z, you know, to get at Drake, because when it was the Meek and Drake beef, um, Meek was a Rock Nation artist, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Pusha T had ties to Rock Nation as well, so, um, like, all the beefs, people are starting to realize that the people behind the guy who Drake is beefing with is Jay-Z, um, people are also breaking down the lyrics from songs where Jay-Z and Drake are in the same song, and it sounds like Jay-Z is getting at Drake. Um, and people are saying that, I mean, Drake is, you know, he's not dumb. He's, you know, he knows that Jay-Z is talking about him. But it seems like for all of these years, he's just been letting it slide or just letting it be. For what reason? We don't know. I mean, he may have his own reason. So, yeah. So that announcement happens. Nicki Minaj is going, you know, Twitter rant crazy. And some tweets that she said she had, you know, she was speaking facts. She was just saying that, you know, some people don't have your best intention. Uh, and, and of course, I mean, defending Wayne, who wouldn't defend the person who put you in the game? You know what I'm trying to say? The, a legend, especially somebody who's from that hometown or whatever. Uh, Little Wayne was also asked if he would like to do the Super Bowl halftime show. He was like, he would do it. Uh, why not? It's his city. And I feel like Little Wayne is, you know, has, he's engaged in the NFL. I mean, we've seen him, you know bunch of time in games i think they even had him talking a couple of games he's a big packers fan so um yeah i mean people feel like the industry just kind of moving funny on legends uh little drake little wayne um nothing has been thrown at nikki just yet i mean there's so much that could happen but yeah everything just kind of shifted and with that being said yesterday on 9 11 um little not little wayne Kendrick Lamar drops a song. It had to probably be like eight something Eastern time, almost nine. Um, and I don't, let me see. I think, what's the party's the name of the song? Or let me see. I gotta find the name. Um, damn, I don't think. Oh, Watch the Party Die. That's the name of the song. I knew it had to do with something party. It's a five-minute song. It really gave me 616 vibes, Meet the Grand vibes. Those are songs that came out when Drake and Kendrick was doing the whole back and forth at the beginning. Or it's always the middle of the beef. 
It gave me that type of vibe. The beat is a good beat. Um, but I feel like he said it, it kind of contradicts itself because, or at least Kendrick. And I mean, I'm a Jig fan, it, it might sound biased, but in the whole NFL announcement, he was saying no round twos, clearly indicating to what Drake said because Drake was posting a story talking about um, winning round two or game two on the Plot Twist account, which is the page where the three songs came out. Uh, a total was six, but the past three songs that came out that I missed. Um, and um, he says that there's no round twos, something, something. You only have one chance to be a champion. Clearly, kind of like bringing it into the whole NFL. NFL is only one game, one game. That's it. If you win, you pass. If you lose, you're out. So he's kind of basically saying only one game will be a champion, no round twos. But clearly, being petty and you know, kind of tying in the no, the round two or game two that Drake was indicating. Um, so basically saying like, Drake, it's too late for another round. I won, you know, take it out. But it felt like kind of weird because he drops a song yesterday and, um, he throws a couple of shots at Drake. The song wasn't directly for Drake. I felt like it was definitely for other people. If you really hear what he's saying, um, of course you're going to have them Kendrick fans, you know, dragging shit out. Uh, he definitely has a lot of bars in there and a lot of things where it's like, if you know, you know, kind of, I guess you could say, if you really understand what he's saying, but it's not as deep as some people think. But what I will say is definitely some shots thrown at Drake. So it's like him throwing shots at Drake after he's saying no round twos. It's kind of like, eh, are you, are you really standing on that? Like you're kind of contradicting yourself. Um, I don't think that Kendrick was going to stop this in him. But I think he'll wait for his album to throw a couple of shots. It felt like him dropping his the song. It felt like he's trying to reignite stuff. I don't know. I, I, that's the way I look at it. Other people may look at it differently. Um, like I said, it's not fully for Drake, or at least to my understanding. He definitely takes shots at other people. He's talking about how the industry is in the wrong hands, and some people just got to, like, get taken out. I mean, just go listen to the song yourself. You come up with your own understanding. Because, uh, you know, just the game is in the wrong hands. Um, and and he, he's trying to think what he should do, you know, to save people from, you know, having whoever's in control or whatever. But it can't, I mean, it's, it's weird because it's like when you have the people who you have behind you, it's kind of like on those people, the same people that's, you talking about or directing to or at least don't they fit that category of the type of you know people you're describing i guess you could say so it's, it's it's tricky it's weird but he's definitely trying to reignite something um with that uh the last drake post that we've seen was in the plot twist no i'm lying it was in his own uh story and that was um him just posting little wayne no caption no words no nothing just posting little wayne um i guess you could say just Showing his respect for Lil Wayne um, After the whole And a lot of people was talking about Is, this, is Lil Wayne even a GOAT like, People was actually dragging it But I don't even mention things like that Because I mean It's not really important I mean, whoever, whoever don't think Wayne is a GOAT You might be too young Or you just don't know music Or at least hip hop at that Or rap Whatever um, You don't gotta listen to somebody every day Or something to know who they're a GOAT It's just the hits that they have, the respect that they have from others, you know. Um, but, so yeah, he's just trying to reignite stuff. Uh, he was getting at a lot of people. He was get, definitely getting at Drake. Uh, had a funny, um, like, cover picture for the for the song. Um, had some black forces. Uh, that's funny. They're playing Drake in the background right now. But had some um, mob ties at that, you know, the song. Has some black beat up forces, um, which probably do mean something. I mean, for six, for me, the grams, um, Kendrick had the Maybach glove, and then 616, I think he showed the full picture. Correct me if I'm wrong, or it's probably the other way around. But um, yeah, no, 616, he had the glove. Meet the grams, he had the full picture. Um, so yeah, I felt like it's, it's weird. We haven't got no other response from Drake. I, I was in a couple of Twitter spaces. They was talking about it. A lot of people was giving their opinion. Mostly Drake fans. I'm not going to lie. 
um and then i was in some discords discord spaces as well uh just so i could come up here talk about it and be as informed as probably yeah or if you guys are not informed to inform you by everything that i've been hearing um and yeah still waiting for for a drake um drop uh the last jake plot twist uh story was some guy holding like a nuke and it was in front of the twin towers i know that sounds crazy um by the way rest in peace for everybody um 9 11 yesterday was that day and now i'm from new york so i've already seen the movie and all of that but um and i know it kind of sounds crazy because the timing of this video and the last post or whatever a lot of people were saying though that he was predicting that kendrick was going to drop that day uh it was a line in the hard part six where he was saying i got your lines tapped i'm dialed in whatever whatever and um so him posting that last story and then kendrick you know dropping on the day where the story or the picture you know has to do with the day people are kind of saying like jay kind of or whatever and there's a crazy theory i'm not i swear i'm not even clickbaiting no nothing i'm not lying it's a crazy theory i heard from a uh, discord space everything was discord or twitter space that i was in about the whole tapped in uh, like drake knowing kendrick's next move but i'm gonna save that for another episode if things do get crazy um super duper crazy i might have to like get it from the person again write it down or whatever to be able to tell you like exactly so it could make sense it doesn't sound like i'm chatting um but yeah i mean i find all of this interesting uh i knew it wasn't done i knew i knew this beef was not done both sides have a lot to say i mean drake is petty and kendrick feel like you know he got a spot to take especially the people behind kendrick definitely pushing for him to you know take over drake or take his spot i don't think it's gonna happen we shall see if it happens um what else i was gonna say and yeah um a lot of people are saying kendrick might drop you guys are gonna see this friday by by the time you guys see this we might have another kendrick song some people who say he's gonna drop his album i don't know if he's gonna drop before um the the super bowl performance he could drop before he could drop after either way is gonna benefit him um he's gonna get a lot of clout attention fame whatever you want to call it out of it um it's gonna better for him we shall see how he plays his cards i don't know if drake is chilling right now and see how everything plays out to then make a move or if he's gonna make a move soon uh but for those who were saying family matters is the red button definitely not the red button i feel like even Drake's opposing side knows that he may be holding something that, you know, could hurt labels or whatever the case may be. A lot of people are saying Drake is red button is him going independent, hurting labels. People are saying that he has footage of certain stuff, whatever. A lot of people have their different opinions. Um, I, I still don't know what the red button is, but I do know for sure. I, I mean, none of us know what it is, but I do know for sure it was not Family Matters. Um, but we shall see how it goes um definitely interesting next week i may i may not talk about it depending on what happens if things stay quiet i might just chill off of it and when you know a response comes back or another drop or whatever i'll get back to it but yeah i mean that's really it i get my week two predictions uh watch this nfl season fly by next thing you know i'm talking about oh week 10 week 11 but yeah i gave my week two predictions uh, i talked about the whole drake um and kendrick beef that is still going on the thing last time i talked about it was a month because i missed two weeks of podcast and then the week before that you got what i'm trying to say um yeah nothing still twitter is going crazy i mean you know twitter a lot of people was actually saying they didn't mess with the new kendrick song they felt like it was too boring a lot of people was you know but i was surprised at how many people did not mess with the song i if you ask me i feel like kendrick was gonna and he, he Kendrick could have dropped a glass cup breaking. I feel like everybody would have messed with it because of how everything's been since not like us, how one sided things have been. But um a lot of people kinda felt like the new song wasn't good and um that's why I feel like I said things are, are slowly changing. Um we don't know, let's see. Um 
we shall see if he drops. If he drops, I'll be here next week. Like I said, if not, I'll push it back a little bit. So if for this episode, try to sum it all up instead of going detail to detail. If I'm here, detail to detail, it'll be a two-hour podcast, probably an hour thirty. Um, family, Ma- family matters. Um, breakdown video from What's the Dirt YouTube soon drop. It might drop by the time uh, I get back on here next week. I could probably talk about that as well. Um, it's so much, so so much that that that's yet to happen. Um, but it's it's clear as day that the industry is behind Drake now, and um, I mean it happens to the greats, happens to the best, no matter what it is, no matter if you're singing, rapping, playing basketball, play soccer. I feel like people got tired of you being number one, and yeah, um, we shall see what happens. This is episode one twenty seven. Uh, make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share. Make sure you check the description down below where I have my link for my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, tune into last episode, the episode before that. God willing, I'll be here next week. And your boy Salsita is out.